Hello, my name is Seng Yeon Ni, CEO of Bisang Inc. Today, I'd like to discuss about 3DX point, reality, opportunity, and competition. 3DX point debut with jaw dropping and eye popping claims, 1,000 times faster than NAND, 1,000 times endurance of NAND, and 10 times denser than conventional memory. Because of no further information is available about 3DX point, there were many wild guesses and speculations. Early this year, details about 3DX point came out from E-Times interview with Goy Bloglak, co-CEO of IM Flash. 3DX point is just well-known PCMS, so you may think she is the same old lady with a new dress and new name. I think Intel and Micron have high expectations on 3DX point, and they may need new marketing strategy with new name of PCMS. Okay, from the interview, we realized that 3DX point has manufacturing issues, such as it uses as many as 100 new materials raising supply chain issues. It requires more tools running process steps, cutting fast throughput by 15%. Due to tool issue, three to five times increase in capital expenses. It requires more fab spending and space than upgrades of 3D NAND. The first generation will come in a two-layer stacks. It heavily depends on lithography tools. The first product will be SSD that is obtained and the second product is to be DDR4 MVDIM at about half the cost of DRAM. The slide shows the summary of uniqueness of 3DX point. Let me explain cross point structure first. It has electrode lines at top and bottom. In the middle, there are selector and memory cell. We could find out more details regarding cross-point PCM back in 2009. In this picture, pay change memory and avonix threshold switch are placed in between top and bottom electrodes. The prototype has only one memory cell layer. Now it has two layers. Intel mentioned that process technology for cross-point PCMS was extremely difficult. So unlike 3D NAND, it certainly has limitation of vertical scaling. As shown, it took six years to expand cell layer from one layer to two layers. Intel and Micron claims 3DX point has thousand times of endurance of NAND. In order to understand endurance, we should understand bit per cell first. As shown here, it is SLC. It does not have a capability of multi-bit per cell yet. Okay, here is comparison of endurance. Compared to TRC planar NAND, 3DX point has thousand times better endurance. However, because 3DX point is SLC, it should be fair to compare its endurance with SLC planar NAND then the difference is just 10 times. Is endurance matter? Endurance is not a big concern for MLC planar NAND or TLC 3D NAND for the general use of SSD. However, if 3DX point is used as a main memory along with DRAM, it should be an important matter because unlike storage class memory, main memory frequently exchange information with CPU. So 1 million endurance is not good enough. For example, DRAM has 10 billion endurance which is 10,000 times better than that of 3DX point. Okay, let me explain stackable. Because Moore's law is certainly that in memory products, vertical scaling must be an important matter in order to increase memory density. However, when you talk about vertical scaling, we must check if 
it is an efficient way to reduce the cost of memory. There are concerns regarding the cost of 3DX point. Die size of two-layer 3DX point is much bigger than that of advanced planar net. Also, fab investment for 3DX point is much higher than that of planar net. Fab investment is an important matter for low cost because depreciation of tools and tool maintenance fee takes about 50% of manufacturing cost of 3DX point. Thermal interference between adjacent cells heavily depends on advanced lithography tools and extreme process complexity may cause large cell size and huge fab investment. Let me explain cost per bit estimation of 3DX point. CEO of IM Flash mentioned that 3DX point is the half price of DRAM. There are 10 times cost per bit difference between DRAM and MLC planar NAND, so we may estimate the cost of 3DX point, which is about 5 times more expensive than NAND. So the position of 3DX point is somewhere in between NAND and DRAM, considering the cost versus speed. Intel claims 3DX point is faster than NAND and cheaper than DRAM. However, if we flip over that disclaim, then it is slower than DRAM and much expensive than NAND. Let's check SSD market for 3DX point. According to Intel, its SSD, which is called Obtain, will be targeted at enthusiast workstation system, which means it is fast but expensive. Storage devices are sensitive to dollar per gigabyte, so it will be difficult to find market position in SSD. Recently, Intel demonstrated the performance of Obtain, which showed three times faster than SSD. However, PC World expressed concern about test method, such as SATA versus PC Express and TLC planar NAND versus SLC X point. If SLC NAND is used at PCI Express slot, then there might not much difference in performance between Obtain and SSD. Considering all these, certainly SSD market is not a sweet spot for 3DX point. However, 3DX point has huge market potential as a main memory if it is used along with DRAM. As shown in the configuration of non-volatile DIMM, data comes to DRAM from CPU and copy to 3DX point. Then, the data goes back to CPU from 3DX point. It is possible because 3DX point has low read latency. Because 3DX point has much less endurance compared to DRAM and its write speed is very slow, it cannot directly replace DRAM. Instead, as a shadow of DRAM, the data in DRAM is copied to NVDIMM in order to expand the size of main memory. In this case, DRAM works as a buffer for NVDIMM. It is very unique market opportunity for 3DX point. If 3DX point is able to provide competitive cost advantages as a NVDIM, it could also take significant portion of SSD market either. Because DIM interface is much faster than SATA and PCI Express interfaces. So cost of 3DX point is a key factor of success when it is used as a non-volatile DIM. Before I discuss the competition of 3DX point, here is a summary of 3DX point. 3DX point will be difficult to find out opportunity in SSD market because of the cost issue. However, it is meaningful as a stepping stone to NVDIM. 3DX point has huge market potential at NVDIM if 
it could be cost competitive compared to conventional SSD. Regarding 1000 times endurance, it is fair to say that it is 10 times better than NAND, though it is not such important for SSD. However, it is important for NVDIMM as a main memory. Regarding 1000 times speed, it is not true when it is used as SSD. It is true only when it is used as an NVDIMM at the read cycle, which is important as a main memory. Regarding 10x denser than DRAM, it is meaningful only if it is used as NVDIMM in order to provide large main memory, though cost per bit is just twice better than DRAM. Also, it cannot directly replace DRAM. Okay, let me explain competition. PCMS comes as a replacement of no fresh memory. Yes, 3DX point is no fresh memory. Conventional NOR also has low read latency and high endurance, so it can be used as an NVDIMM. However, planar NOR does not provide competitive cost because of large cell area. For example, NOR cell is twice bigger than DRAM, so it is very expensive. In case of 3D Super NOR, it is about 6 to 10 times cheaper than 3DX Point. In addition, it does not need huge fab investment. Yes, it is stackable, and it is very small cell size. Unlike 3DX Point, no new material and no extreme process complexity are needed at all. You may wonder what 3D Super NOR is. It is disruptive technology comes from VSAN Inc. Like a Lego blocks, formation of memory cell is very flexible, so it can be used for NOR, NAND, and DRAM. More information is available from the following YouTube video tutorials. Please check these videos. Okay, 3D Super NOR is similar to 3DX Point, so it could claim the same. In addition, it is 10 times cheaper than 3DX Point. Therefore, it could expand its market position from NAND to DRAM. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Please leave comments.